what we do is we have accelerometers placed on either quarter of the bridge and we're impacting the bridge with a hammer. The hammer delivers a pulse across a lot of frequencies which excites the bridge at a lot of frequencies and at the resonant frequencies and the different frequencies it'll get more energy being transferred. Based on real-life non-destructive testing, bridges characterize their fitness in case of an earthquake or something. We've learned a lot about how the instrumentation, uh, the different filters that we use, the different type of hammer tip that we use affects our data, like every decision we make. but it's gonna change. A lot of things we've learned on site. We thought we came in with a really good experimental plan that we were just gonna be able to crank out and do the bridge. Not true. We take a class called STEMS, a signal and a systems processing class before this one. It's a requirement. And you see theoretically how the filters are supposed to work how the response is supposed to work. I, I didn't realize how little sunk in until we got out here and started hammering. And I was like, oh, that happens like it's supposed to. But then there's more stuff that we have to think about on top of that. Well, I think it's more important to do stuff in the field than exclusively things in the classroom because when I'm out in industry, I expect to be working in the field for a good part of the time. And I want to be able to know what I'm doing. My most enjoyable experience with the engineering program at Harvey Mudd has been um, the introduction to engineering and design class. So it's nice to go work out in the field and like experience it outside the classroom. You test something, you realize why your testing procedure doesn't work, retest it, learn the material, realize what else you could have done. But because you've already touched it and felt it, it connects better.